Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this Lego City review. Okay, today we have the Lego City Coin Bank. So this is set 40110, it's for ages 6 plus and comes with 122 pieces and it retails here in the UK for £10.99. Okay guys, so this is an actual um, coin bank, like a piggy bank, um, as we call them in the UK. Um, but it is a coin bank, so you can put your coins, notes, so money inside it, and other small valuables, which we'll be able to uh, see closer um, how that works when we take a tour around the set. Okay, so we actually have a minifigure that comes with this as well, so we'll take a look at that in a second. So without further ado, let's take a look at the LEGO City Coin Bank now. Okay guys, so here's the first look at the LEGO City Coin Bank and obviously the minifigure. Um, one thing to say about this, certainly I was surprised. Um, it was bigger than I was expecting. Pleasantly so, I do like the size of it. Um, it's just when I saw it on the website and indeed when you look at the box, <clears throat> if you look at the scale of that minifigure standing next to the safe, um, the actual reality is the actual scale is um, different from what you can see there. You can see that minifigure obviously looks considerably smaller next to the safe than he does there. But like I said, that was quite a pleasant surprise. Okay, so let's take a closer look at that minifigure to begin with. Okay, so here we have our crook minifigure, and you can see there the print into the front of that torso. Um, he's obviously got some rope going over his shoulder there and around his waist that's obviously uh, so we can climb up on top of that safe and trying to break in um, in his hand there you can see a crowbar we're going to better look at that in a second um, and he's obviously wearing the black beanie hat so let's take a bit of a 360 tour around the crook minifigure okay so there and now we can see from the side shot so you can see that crowbar much better there in his uh, hand um, and he has the rucksack on his back, obviously, so that he can uh, store his um, loot from inside the safe. Obviously, that's if he manages to get inside it. Okay, and the rear shot there, you can just see, obviously, in top of the rucksack there. So that fits nicely in there, the 1x2 plates, um, so the $100 bill plates. And the side shot there, looking again at the crook. And finally back round to the front. Okay guys, so that's the quick review of the crook finish. So let's take a look at the main feature of this set, which of course is the coin bank or safe. Okay guys, so a look at the coin bank itself now. So there you can see the front view. So before we take a look inside again, let's take a 360 tour around the coin bank. Okay, so there we have our first side shot of the coin bank. And you can see there better the uh, main handle mechanism for the door. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. Okay, on the side there, you can should be able to make out there is, that is a sticker. So obviously that's going to be a some kind of wanted sign, I'm guessing. A $100,000 um, reward. And around to the rear view of the coin bank. And again, there's another sticker on the rear there. Now you can obviously see that there is some damage to the safe there. I expect that's where... Um, the crooks tried breaking in or there's been some sort of explosion and it's uh, obviously cracked the rear of the safe open but you can see the hundred dollar bills by the looks of it in there so those one by two tiles um, obviously bursting out of the crack. Okay and finally round to the other side again on this side um, there is that same reward, $100,000 reward there for our crook. Um, other thing to point out on this side, you can obviously see here we have um, this rope. So that's obviously the rope that was around the minifigure's um, shoulder. He's obviously thrown it up there to try and climb on top of our safe. Why we asked, does he want to get on top of the safe? Um, so if we tilt this forward now, 
you will begin to see and understand why. So first thing to point out up here, we have a, another hundred dollar bill here, um, ready to go in through the slot, or maybe that's one of the ones that the crook has successfully got out, who knows. Um, we have going around the top, obviously these barriers on either side, and there is obviously a siren and flashing light. That's obviously going to go off if the crook um, manages to force his way in there and sets the alarm off. Okay, again, just looking at this slot, this is obviously where we put our valuables in, our coins or other valuables or whatever that you may want to uh, hide um, secretly weave in the coin bank. Okay, so now let's take a look at the front and inside. Okay guys, so just again, just looking at the front again, obviously just to point out some of the details here, obviously there's that wheel to turn to get in the safe, obviously the bit at the top here is going to represent um, the arrow for the numbers on the combination lock. So let's get this door open now and have a quick look inside and see what we can see. Okay, so first of all we turn the handle and I'll show you that mechanism in a minute. And then the door will simply open up like so. So first views inside, you can see that cobweb at the back there with the spider, obviously in the middle of that cobweb. Um, we have a shelf there and currently on the shelf is another $100 bill and a very nasty looking rat um, sat in there as well. Down at the bottom there is some dynamite, um, I'm guessing the crooks managed to get that in there ready to blast that door open. Um, you can see there, that is the mechanism to lock the safe um, because the door can be closed. So again, just going back to this, this wheel does turn. And as this turns, if I turn that around there now, you can see there that mechanism obviously goes over like so. And hopefully you can make out, if you see there, it just goes over the edge of the door which then means it catches inside here which obviously then will lock that door into position so if I just close the door again so move that around turn that wheel like so that now means that door is now securely locked into position Okay, so now just to demonstrate the actual coin drop um, area itself, because again, this is a coin bank. So obviously we have the slot in top. I have my money here. So simple. Obviously goes into the coin bank like so. Just simply drop that money inside. Um, and again, if I just tilt this forward. Um, in fact, I will zoom in. You can get a even better look there we go so again here's that coin and obviously you can just simply slot in to the top of the coin bank like so so there we go so that's now money inside the coin bank and obviously when we want to get that money out again simply turn the door mechanism open it up and there we go there we can see the money there down on that shelf so there's obviously a lot of room in there if you wanted to you could fit a lot of money in there or like i've said you can store other valuables or use it as a little hiding place and then obviously you can get the money out obviously that's as easy as that okay guys there we go that's my review of the lego city coin bank complete set 40110 i have to say i'm quite impressed with this set um, so I would put this down as a, um, a buy, um, I certainly would recommend this, um, I think it's uh, obviously it has function, um, the function there is a coin bank so kids can use it, I think it's great for Lego enthusiasts, certainly the younger kids, they can use it um, to obviously collect their money in there, all their pennies or cents and dollars and pounds etc, whatever your currency is in your country. Um, as far as putting it in the Lego City, it obviously is very large. You could kind of use it as a bit of a fun 
sort of um, mock in there, um, but there's no reason why not. But I don't know, I just think it looks pretty awesome and I think it's kind of a great use of bricks and a great idea um, from Lego. Anyway guys, there you go. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this set and will you be getting it? Let me know down in the comments. Um, anyway guys, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, assuming you have liked it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!